Moon Dark and hello, I'm Lyle from Dregs in a Name, and I know we haven't had an introduction to the series in a long time, but I just wanted to remind you that if you like it, please comment, like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Love you all so much. Now have fun with the episode. We are going to that high energy lab. That's just, there's no other plan. And I think we have to go there fast. At least that's what Angie says. And I trust Angie with this. Otherwise it's gonna be under sand. Is that where I want it to be? Kind of. But then I have to go all the way again. I would rather go where the... The, not the warp station. That's that, 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 the shuttle station where that is, because there was also an entrance to the Sunless City here. And I have a feeling that might be faster than going through all of the other stuff again. Oh, I can't go. That's unfortunate. All right, change of plans. Then I'm gonna try and figure out how these work now, because... This here must do something. It must do something. Maybe that's like landing or something or stopping? Maybe just that's just stopping. Where's the comet though? It should appear at some point. Okay, is that it? Oh no, that's that's Bristol Hollow. God damn it. But there is the comet. Then let's try this. Try this. Did that do anything? No. Hmm. Okay, then let's whoop back. I don't really understand how these shuttles work. Ow! Why? New plan. <laughs> No, we are sticking with the plan. This time I'm gonna take the suggested way then. Fine, have it your way, game. Do, Do a barrel, barrel roll. roll. Uh... Okay, I guess that kind of worked. Good enough. I should probably take a look where this leads, so I know a faster way into the city. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Kalias and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis. There is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Kalias and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly, Malore, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Um, yeah, Ch sure. I'm supposed to feed it light, right? There is, I know that there is an entrance, oh God. That's cool and creepy and awesome, but I wanted to go to the high energy lab. 
Okay, uh, that's that's the energy lab, right? Yep. Okay, that's the furthest down. Don't want to go up. I want to go down, I think. I can't. Oh god, I can't. God damn it. Yeah, come on. Do it a little bit faster. God damn it. I missed it. I think that was the door that I. Uh. Mah. That I was supposed to go through because this just leads up into the other districts. God damn it. So I already missed my window of opportunity. For this one but maybe now we can do the anglerfish thing i think there should be oh, oh okay there it is i could see it so maybe i do need to wait until this cave is filled with more sand and then I can go up here because <gasps> that's where I was oh my god they died here why did they all they seem to have all died at the very same time in the spot that they were in Whoever was it when we ended last time is this ang uh, is the anglerfish. Rule change. The anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they are it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against the wall. Uh, one, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you are eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes a little fish. I I mean holy crap, look okay. Look at this. Please, for a second. Gosh darn it. That's just so very cool. It doesn't help me in any of my endeavors, but it's extremely cool. Come on. Did I really not hit it? Oh, ah, all right. No. Okay, where am I? Oh! Where am I? I don't have a lot of oxygen. Oh, this is the escape pod? It is. I might have to meditate and go for the next run because I kind of ran out of what I can do, I think. What? What the? What? What? What is that? Oh my f***ing god! So the more sand goes from the ash twin to... What is this called again? It reveals structures on the Oh 
My fucking god. That is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna meditate until the next loop. We are gonna try again to get to the high energy lab. I want to go to the high energy lab, but oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Because like Ashwin is propelling all its sand onto the other planet. Oh god, that's so cool! Floop! Turn that on. Okay, I think this time, this time, well, come on. Yep, high energy lab, awesome. I think we're just gonna follow this cable. That seems the, like the most logical thing to do. Uh oh. That's just gonna... Yep, that's what I thought. It's gonna propel me down. How the hell do I get over there? Do I just wait until this fills up? Because I have no idea how, how to get there. I have to wait until it's where the cacti are, because there is no other way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fine, it's fine. Gonna patch it up. Gonna patch it up. Nice. All right, run, 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 run. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, it's filling up. Okay, 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 okay. That gonna take me all the way? Ugh. Not quite. And I can't go up there. There's also ghost matter. So we don't want to go up there. Come on. Okay, I will follow you. I will trust you, paths that I can see. Yeah. Oh god. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh! Did I make it? Did I really make it? Yep, that seems like it. Launch scout? What for? Huh. Don't get that one. Alright, alright, alright. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple or a simple machine error. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Okay, remove this one. And get this one. An update. Our experiment here reproduce the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. 
To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunder City's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raimi, Yarrow requested that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Haha. <laughs> All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they proved that... They are exiting the Whitehall station. What is this? Before leaving the black hole or the other way around? I do not understand these. Maybe I will have thoughts in editing. I don't know. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the ne necessary energy. Raimi and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ashtwin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Raimi, so I believe it's you who's a reform. I have thoughts, but I want to read this first. The Ashtwin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ashtwin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers, like the one we have on the Whitehall station, to connect Ashtwin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ashtwin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently cl clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone and we could model the Timberhurst tower after a geyser mountain. Poke, Root and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. The 22 minute loop is what I am in right now. And they wanted to create a loop for some reason that I am not sure of. And they apparently at least partially succeeded? Note, this door will need to remain closed. Oh, this is the outside of the high energy lab. So they somewhat succeeded. In creating this time loop, but something must have gone horribly wrong because they all perished apparently at the same time. What is this and where is this? I don't get this and I don't like that. <gasps> what is... What is this? Can I? What 
what, what, what are these? These are warp cores. How do they work? How do you work? How do you guys work? Could I warp from anywhere or to anywhere from here? So is that just showing an experiment then? I'm guessing what we're seeing is that it comes out there faster than it goes in. Kind of, at least. I guess that's what we are supposed to take from that. I have totally lost my train of thought. I don't know where I stopped explaining what I think is going on. So they... The sun station is probably... One of the last things they built and something there went horribly wrong. Where's my ship? It should be there because I want to read some stuff. Uh, in my ship and maybe even go to Ashwin 